Um, you got to manage matchmaking servers. You got to manage game logic, databases. So, you know, to give you an example, if you have a dude here in North America, um, that's North America, and he's playing with another dude in Asia uh, here. Um, these two are, so that's Asia. So you'll need a server next to him, and you'll need another n server next to him, and you'll need to make sure that these servers are probably behaving together, and you'll need to make sure that, you know, you kill this server, you kill it if there's no one using um, the server anymore in, around that person. So you, you, you start managing a lot of the game infrastructure. What's the issue? That's a major problem because when you launch your game, your game is not successful yet. You, when you launch your game, it's probably the beginning of its life cycle. So you got to iterate your way out of like, out of like not your game working essentially. So, um, so that is the issue. So you, you, you spend most of your time now managing the infrastructure versus doing the iteration. And just like any other thing, you will need to go through, through the loop of build, measure, learn S several times as a game builder until you find the way where your game is going to start making a lot of money. And if you're spending most of your time managing the infrastructure, you're not spending, you're not spending your time on improving the game. And that's the issue. 